I've been feeling so tired. It's like no matter what I do or how much sleep I get, I just I just always feel that sense of exhaustion and tiredness and like the feeling of not wanting to do anything. And I find that I would often feel like this every couple months or so. I don't know, maybe I'm like on the verge of burn out. I think that being a full-time creator comes with its own problem. I know that a lot of people, when they think about being a content creator, being an influencer, it's like a dream job. Of course, I'm very grateful for what I have or where I am today, but at the same time, it's not that perfect. You know, nothing is perfect in life. Like a lot of times, I would not be able to sleep because, you know, I was just lying on my bed and thinking about all the things that I have to do. And there's just this overwhelming sense of dread that I feel. I feel like work never ends. It's just there's no end point in size that I feel like I could relax, that I feel like I could finally say that that's it. That's my destination. Like, I'm happy now. I feel like I just have to keep going. When is the stopping point? When can I stop working and enjoying life and not doing anything? I feel like I'm just going through like my existential quarter life. I don't know, but I, at the same time, I also feel like I'm going through it every couple months so i'm not sure what i'm going through i want to feel better i i really want to feel better so here's the things that i'm doing to help me not fall deeper into my depressive episode or my burnt out episode the first thing that i'm doing is to make sure that i have a consistent sleep and wake up schedule I know this is easier said than done and I'm the biggest offender of going to bed at 6 a.m. and wake up at 2 p.m. and feeling like I'm a failure because half of the day is gone. But I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to get better at this. And another very important thing is to not only have a consistent sleep schedule but also have enough sleep. I just know that if I don't get eight hours of sleep, I'm not at my best. Like I could still function, I could still, you know, go out there and get work done, but I just know like I'm not at my best. And when I have eight hours or more, everything is different. You know, it's a completely different day for me. I would feel so energized, so ready to take on the day and to interact with people. Yeah, so honestly, that's like one of or that's, that is my biggest thing right now, is to just get enough sleep. A lot of people neglect sleep and think that they can get by or get away with less than eight hours of sleep. I know that was me in the past. I really want to make sleep my priority. And if you're feeling the same way like me right now, you probably haven't gotten enough sleep and Maybe you should make sleep your priority as well. The next thing I'm doing is to learn to relax my body and take slower breath. I feel like, you know, when I feel stressed out thinking about all the stuff that I need to do, my body would tense up and my breathing would be very shallow and fast. I listened to this meditation that really helped me. In the meditation, they instructed me to relax my body and they said something that really like resonate with me that really like click it for me which is you know when your body is all tensed up and tight you know the, the stressed energy has nowhere to go and it's trapped inside your tight body so to release it you have to relax your body and take slow deep breath and that that really helps me i was like i couldn't sleep at all for like an hour just lying on the bed last night and i turned on this meditation and i did that and i felt it's just a tremendous relief and they also instructed me to like hug myself give myself a hug and tell myself that it's okay it's okay darling and like i don't know it just did something to me like it just I, I think that honestly, I always needed to hear that or I always wanted to hear that from my parents, but I never really got it. 
So just being able to tell myself that it just it just did something to me. It just make me feel like you know it's okay. I got this, and I can do this. So I hope that it will be helpful to you. You know, just be gentle on yourself. Give yourself a hug and tell yourself that it's okay, because you know it happens. And but you got this. And my next point is to escape. But escape in a productive way. I know that for me, when I feel stressed out or overwhelmed or a little bit burned out, I would, you know, just grab my phone and scroll or like want to watch something, watch a TV shows or you know, just something to get my mind off of the things that I know I have to do. But I find that when I do that, I always feel worse. <laughs> and I think we sh we all know that escapism never helps. But I recently learned that escapism isn't always bad if you're doing what you're passionate about. What I mean by that is yes, like if you're too stressed out about work. It's good to take your mind off work for a bit, but not through scrolling, not through watching TV series or YouTube, but through the things that actually fulfills you. It could be learning about what you're passionate about or what you're interested in. For me, it's learning a new language. I just love the process of learning something new and. I think that it'd be so cool if I'm able to speak a third language, and I find that I learn best in a classroom environment because it just gives me more motivation to, you know, have an actual teacher that interacts with me and other classmates that I could communicate with. I've been taking French classes on Lingoda, which is also today's video sponsor. Lingoda is an online language school that offers live classes with certified native speaking teachers. Live classes are offered 24/7, so students. Can learn anytime, anywhere. Lingoda teaches four languages: English, German, French, and Spanish, as well as business English in small group or private one-on-one -on -one classes. This ensures that the student get individual focus from teachers and opportunities to practice speaking, helping them succeed in their new language. Each Lingoda class is 60 minutes, and in those lessons, you and three to four other classmates will focus on speaking and real-life conversations, as well as learning grammar structures. Lingoda offers you full flexibility. Flexibility to learn at times that work with your schedule and about topics that actually interest you. Lingoda is actually running a language sprint challenge where you take classes every day or every other day for the span of two months. And if you take the class every day, which is a super sprint, you can get 100% of your cash back. Whereas if you choose the sprint, which is taking the class every other day, you can get 50% of your cash back. I think that is a great way to learn a new language because consistency is. Is key. So I hope that you're gonna join the sprint with me. If learning English, German, French, or Spanish is your goal, so if you're interested, check out Lingoda, and you can use my code Clara Dow for 20 euros or 25 USD off your sprint registration. Another thing that really helps me is to keep my body active or just move my body. I feel that when I'm just in my room or in my apartment for too long and don't go out and like. Get the sunshine on my face, or just you know, be out in nature. I would definitely see like a negative effect on my mood. So my goal right now is to walk at least 5,000 steps a day. So I have my tracker to uh, keep me accountable for that. I know that a lot of times you hear, you know, you should take at least 10,000 steps a day, but to me that sounds like a lot, and it's not really practical for. Everyone, me included. So just set a goal that works for you. Like it shouldn't be too big or seems too unattainable or make you feel pressure. For me, when I go to the gym, like I don't lift weights or I don't do like crazy exercise or anything. I literally just get on the treadmill and start walking or running. That's literally the only thing I do at the gym. So you know, like you don't have to feel like you have to commit to like. Crazy exercise regime. Just do what you can, do what you're comfortable with, because any type of movement will help. It will help you feel better. I also really enjoy journaling, especially these days when I feel like I don't really achieve much. I like to write out what I actually managed to do in the day. It's kind of like an achievement journal. 
and the achievement doesn't have to be big. You know, getting out of bed is an achievement. Getting something for breakfast can be an achievement. Like that's you taking care of yourself. That's you getting up and facing the day. That's an achievement of itself. Like you don't have to finish everything on your to-do list to call it or a successful day or an achievement. Everything can be an achievement just depending on how you look at it, right? Yeah, like there are days that I have this long list of 10 or 15 things that I need to do for that day. And at the end of the day, I just end off checking maybe one or two things off that list. And you know what? It still gives me some sense of accomplishment. Like if you look at it in a way that, oh, there are still 13, 14 things left on my to-do list that I haven't got to do and focus on that, then you will feel bad. But if you focus on that one or two things that you manage to do and you know that, you know, sometimes it's the best of our ability. Like I try my best on that day. Like I don't really feel like doing other things. I shouldn't beat myself up for not feeling like doing it because beating yourself up for not doing things will never help you to actually do them. It will just make you feel more dreadful and guilty. That will just, at least for me, will always just make me feel more burnt out and not help me actually feel better. So focus on baby step, focus on, you know, the little things that you do of the one or two things that you do for the day and you know know that it's okay and keep track of that right keep track of what you actually manage to do for the day and like i said even if it's just getting out of bed or take a shower or get ready you know i think that once you start doing those small baby steps it's just easier for you to actually get something done those are my suggestions those are the things that been helping me so if you're also having the same type of feeling that i am right now just know that it's okay too and till next time love yourself be kind to yourself and treat others the same way see you in my next video bye